saturated ground. Fayetteville, where Alex Wallace is located, we've got some light rain for the most part, uh, but we've had reports from the police department of about a dozen roads that are closed right in the city of Fayetteville, North Carolina. So flash flood watches are in effect not just for North Carolina, but South Carolina, even stretching up here into the southwestern portion of Virginia. And once you get up into that hilly terrain, we are concerned about enhanced rainfall totals and also the threat for some mudslides as well. So it is very likely in this area in the orange where we're likely to see flash flooding across the heart of North Carolina, southwestern Virginia as well. And right along the border with South Carolina, uh, we are not done yet with the heavy bands associated with what's now a tropical depression. So it was downgraded as of 5 o'clock this morning. Rainfall still to come. We're talking about a good swath of 3 to 5 inches in the yellow, but where you see the embedded orange, we're talking 5 to 8 inches. That's on top of the 1 to 2 feet of rain that we've already seen across this area. So the rivers will continue to rise as well. We've got multiple rivers uh, gauges at major flood stage. We could be approaching record on some of those rivers as well, and we may not even crest until a few days from now. Rainfall wise here in Columbia, South Carolina, an inch or two. This is our forecast between now and Tuesday. But Myrtle Beach over here on the coast, we're not done with the heavier rain bands where we could see potentially two to three inches of rainfall. Asheville here in the mountain city of western North Carolina, the Piedmont, we're talking about uh, three to five inches showing up in the yellow right there, including a section of I-40. And speaking of which, we do have a section of I-40 over in the Lumberton area that is still closed and a 90-mile stretch of I-95 that is closed as well due to flooding. And those are major highways, Alex. We're talking about a lot of smaller roads that are underwater as well and even getting reports of roads washed out um, underneath all that high water. Hmm. Yeah, certainly a concern and a